Have you ever thought about how many different things your brain can do? This amazing organ, which scientists are only beginning to understand, has been refined through millions of years of evolution. It helps you process information, often before you are aware of it, and it figures out things fast, even when information is incomplete. Did you know that your brain even controls what you enjoy? The brain does this to help you survive and to keep your body's internal environment stable and balanced, a state known as homeostasis. The brain is awesomely complex and crucial to who we are and how we live. Much about how the brain functions is yet to be discovered. The content we are learning here then represents a very basic understanding of brain structure and function and targets the content that you will need to know for this course. So let's get started. We are going to apply a simple memory mnemonic here to help you remember the names of some important structures along with their functions. The memory mnemonic we are going to use here is, can Charlie come play the harp with me? And it works like this. Ken stands for the cerebrum, the largest part of the human brain, which controls conscious thought perceives sensory information, initiates movements, and is the place where our memories are stored. It is made up of both the left and the right hemisphere. Charlie is for the corpus callosum, which is a thick band of nerve fibers that divides the cerebral cortex lobes into left and right hemispheres. It connects the left and right sides of the brain, allowing for communication between both hemispheres. Take your hands and make a fist out of them. Now cross one arm over the other. This is a good memory cue to remember that the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. Think of the crossover of the arms as the corpus callosum. Come is for the cerebellum that receives information from the sensory system. The cerebellum is located behind the top part of the brain stem where the spinal cord meets the brain. To remember the function of the cerebellum, think of a ballerina. A ballerina requires muscle control, good balance and posture, and muscle coordination. Play stands for the pituitary gland, which is located just below the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland is often referred to as the master gland of the body because it produces hormones that control other glands. The stands for the thalamus, which is a small area of the brain located just above the hypothalamus. The function of the thalamus is to collect sensory information, sort it, and send it to the correct areas of the brain. Think of it like a post office, where all mail is collected, sorted, and then sent out to the correct address. HARP stands for the hypothalamus, which is located below the thalamus. One of the most important functions of the hypothalamus is to link the nervous system to the endocrine system via the pituitary gland. It is responsible for the regulation of certain metabolic processes and other activities of the autonomic nervous system. It synthesizes and secretes certain neurohormones called releasing hormones or hypothalamic hormones. And these in turn stimulate or inhibit the secretion of hormones from the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus then controls things like body temperature, hunger, thirst, fatigue, and sleep. Me stands for the medulla oblongata, also called the medulla, the lowest part of the brain and the lowest portion of the brain stem. The medulla oblongata plays a critical role in transmitting signals between the spinal cord and higher parts of the brain and in coordinating autonomic activities such as heartbeat, respiration, blood vessel function, digestion, sneezing, and swallowing. Take a good look at this label diagram and be sure that you can identify both the structure and function of each of these parts. 